you guys backed yourselves into the, kind of like a big corner, putting your main character in prison for the start of the season. How soon are we going to see that resolved in season three? I mean, Archie's in, he's in juvenile, he, you know, he, he's, he has like a very big legal problem. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's, it's, we're going to take our time. KJ's such an incredible actor and um, it's really fun to give him new challenges. And, and um, you know, also it's, it's, Archie is this like the sweet archetype. And so to really explore his darkness and his struggles between his darkness and light, this feels like sort of a natural uh evolution but i think backing ourselves into corners is something that we do quite often in riverdale and enjoy doing yeah it's fun to watch his story unfold so it's going to take you know it's going to take a little bit uh, a little bit of time but it's a great story great journey great personal journey can you talk about the the overarching theme or mystery for this season um, I think that once again, it's uh, very much tied to the town of Riverdale, and I think you start to get a taste of it very early in the season. Um, so I, I would just say, like, we never want to repeat ourselves, but we want to um, deliver to our audience the kind of complexity and storytelling that they've now gotten used to. So we take that into account. Can we expect to see Molly Ringwald return as Archie's mom to help him out of a sticky legal situation? I mean, it's that was like my dream was casting Molly Ringwald on the show. So as far as I'm concerned, we can never have enough Molly Ringwald. We have to thank Sarah for Molly Ringwald. I mean, she loves her and boy, I, did she deliver. She was amazing. So yeah. yeah. Molly Ringwald, all day, every day. You've noticed everyone in Riverdale comes back a lot. Like yes. it's our cast is enormous, so I I would not be surprised to see her back. Yes. How's that? As a CEO of Archie, how does uh, your input or your overseeing the series uh, kind of come into fruition for the finished series? Do you make any sort of suggestions, or is there anything that Riverdale does that you would like to see reflected in the uh, other media? Well, I mean, Roberto, in addition to being showrunner. An executive producer is also chief creative officer of Archie Comics. So, I mean, Roberto and I talk probably, you know, I don't know about daily, but certainly three, four times a week about everything that's going on. And yeah, I mean, you know, look, he's pretty amazing at coming up with these storylines. And I'd have to say initially, there was a lot of input coming from us, but now he's, I mean, this is his ship and he's driving it, and I'm loving what he's doing. I know. So there's, there's very little coming, you know, from, from us at this but point. But I, I will say that John Goldwater deserves an enormous amount of credit for the show because of his willingness to, to play, to Thank really you. expand it. It's, it's like, it was a very, you know, risky and dangerous thing to do because you're allowing these sort of very wholesome characters to be embroiled in a much darker world and I think uh, John was smart enough to realize that that can help expand the Archie universe doesn't hurt it and I think that you've now done Riverdale comics that yeah. speak to it so the two really do work hand in hand in a really exciting way but it is it's um it's the show wouldn't exist if John wasn't so willing to I mean this it's some it's crazy like we're like and then Moose is like on the DL and he's like okay like you know it's, it's right. really like he's allowed us to have like a ton of fun and I think he knows that not only does Roberto have RG Comics in his heart but he, he also he wants to protect them as much as John does and I think that's yeah. what and there's plenty of conversation and John's very involved but I think we're all come from such a place of love that uh, and respect yeah and I have to I have to mirror what Sarah said this is all love respect from Sarah, from Roberta, from Greg, from everyone at Warner Brothers. So it's it's really been a, a wonderful, great journey to see this all develop. It's been thrilling, actually. And, and speaking of thrilling, just wait for the chilling adventures oh, of chilling. Sabrina. Oh, chilling adventures of Sabrina coming. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Is she going to make an appearance on Riverdale? Is she going to make an appearance on Riverdale? As of now, we have no plans for that. It's like different networks. It's, it's, and everyone is working all the time, so. Can I have one quick, quick Riverdale yeah. question? Um, but last year you guys went from 13 to 22, and that is a big change, and I'm just wondering if you like learned any lessons from that experience that you're kind of implementing Yeah, I think, look, hopefully everyone gets better at doing things the more they do them. I'm sure you guys do as journalists, and we do as producers, and 
uh, we definitely learned lessons and I think part of it was was realizing how fun it is to kind of take a time out and do we had two really exciting episodes last year which obviously the musical and then the episode where we sort of did the tales from the, the three separate storylines of that trip to green to um, across the river and so I think we want to continue we've learned from that how fun it is to do that how fun it is for the cast and crew and I think um, yeah I think we absolutely we learned tons of lessons and they'll all be hopefully applied and make season three even better than season two.